Hey there, welcome to the Lich Lemire channel. We are going to be <clears throat> looking at what they're thinking when it comes to you romantically, what their thoughts are um, around you romantically, like when it comes to you. Um, so pick your number, where the message for you might be. Six, eight, five, one timestamps are going to be in the description box we will be using my new deck the i love you but deck which has channeled messages of all sorts over over 250 channeled messages so <laughs> um i'm excited to debut this on this video thank you so much for being with me on this journey to getting here and let's get into your message peace hey there number five hey there number five um this is what they think of you romantically. <clears throat> we can have a few letters first, just to get that out of the way. Uh, <laughs> busy, bish, there's a W, there's a V, there's an S, there's a U, there's a B, there's a sub. H, S, a high school, VHS, movies, perhaps, Washington could be here as well. Um, so... Two S's, actually. Uh, I'll put these back. Actually, I'll put these to the side. Whatever. All right, so let's get a look into what they think of you. If those letters resonated with you, that's great. If they didn't, that's okay. It's just a little extra. Truly quite extra. <laughs> um, let's look into what they think of you romantically like what are their thoughts surrounding you if we were to probe in the lens of romance so spirit angels spiritual team if you could give me a clear message for what this person thinks of my person watching romantically What they think of them romantically. What they think of my person romantically. <laughs> so once again, this is from my deck. The I Love You But deck. You can't find it anywhere. It's not yet for sale. Um, so hopefully we'll get it there one day someday soon so we have i need to know you can take care of yourself hi i know what you want me to do and say but i'm not there 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 yet i'm scared of your people things could be better between us on the rebound and yes there is someone else so with this person um and at the top of the deck, we have, there are more important things in my life right now. So this person, when it comes to you romantically, <sighs> there's a part of them that does, you do cross their mind, okay? You do, here and there, every so often. Um, but with whatever happened or is happening between you two, it doesn't seem like there's a lot happening between you two, actually. Um, it, it feels like you two may not be around each other or together, um, perhaps even a no contact or you've ended things or there's space between you. I think they wonder how you're doing, right? Every so often, it feels like they might wonder how you're doing. And maybe they'll check um, every so often. I'm not getting an obsessive checking. I'm getting a, oh, let me see. And it's not um, a digging either. It's whatever is the easiest accessible 
way for them to see you or check on you if that's even possible um and for some of them it's not even a checking it's just like a, oh i hope they're doing well right um that's as far as that goes that's what i'm getting from this high um they could be seeing someone else um case by case basis but they could be seeing someone else about how serious that is who knows but it could be it may not feel as serious as it looks <laughs> It just feels like this person might have someone to have someone. And if feelings develop with that person, then okay. Um, and maybe there are feelings there. That's not really the scope of where I'm going. But when it comes to you, perhaps they also limit thinking about you or showing too much about themselves or whatever because they are seeing someone else. Because there is someone else in their life and they just have more important things going on so this person i don't think dwells on thoughts of you at all if they do it's rare and if they do it not rare but if they do i'll say this it's a it's a drop in a bucket it's it's them thinking about you and maybe they'll take like a whole minute and be like oh okay yeah and then off to the next and maybe not think about you for another span of time. Um, they might know what you want them to do or say, right? Like if you're expecting an apology, if you're expecting a commitment, if you're expecting um, for them to correct things or come correct or do something that you know, you know, they're not dumb. They know you want them to do this thing. But from here, it says they're not there yet. Will they get there? Who knows? They're on the rebound. They're sort of still in the after effects of something. Or at the very least, they're tending to more important things. And at the best, at the best case scenario for someone who this is someone that you care about and you're like, oh man, like they don't think about me. In the best case that I could give you, perhaps they, maybe they will you know, come a time when things quell and calm down in their world for them to actually give this thought more, give you more thought and doing the thing that they want to say or do. But this doesn't feel like it's going to be a quick thing. Um, things could be better between you. They, they know that, um, they're scared of your people. So I'm sure from whatever they did or didn't do, they know that they've done certain things or not done certain things that you've told your people about. And they're like, ooh, no thank you. Um, with I need to know you can take care of yourself, I think this is somebody who's really wanting to be independent from you. Um, they're wanting to have an arm's length type scenario with you. Um, at Next in the deck we have, I feel like I'm suffocating. So perhaps that was something that they felt when they were with you let's see if we can see any future thoughts so um three months spirit what could they think three months from now about my person watching this right now what could their thoughts be three months from now sometimes shuffling is just a lot <laughs> okay um i feel myself losing the attraction the vibe for you all right i think about you and consider you more than you think i do i love knowing i put a smile on your face this seems that in three months their energy towards you is softer but it feels more cordial than romantic It feels more, that was a good person. Um, that was, you know, we had nice times. There's like maybe a softness there, but 
with this i feel myself losing the attraction and vibe for you it feels like exactly what it says like the attraction and the vibe isn't as strong as um it, it once was but there's a softness here so either way um come back in a couple of months or when next time i do this reading and we can check up on that energy or if you go to the lucilamira.live website you can come through for your own personal reading where we go into what they want to say to you what they wish they could say what's the truth closest to their heart um and a whole bunch of other stuff in in using the messages deck uh it's very clear straightforward if you would like to order the deck let me know that there's interest leave a comment and let me know that this is a deck you might like to purchase in the future and i can start preparing that um the nice thing about this is it's pretty user friendly like anybody could do this you don't have to have a honed intuitive ability or any psychic ability you literally just read the words so this is very user friendly for a lot of people it helps um i wish you everything my friend keep your light on and good luck bye bye hey there paul one hey there paul one so we're going to be looking at um this person that you're thinking about and see what their thoughts are when it comes to you romantically we're going to just do letters first to get that out of the way to see if there's anything here that extra stands out prior to your reading we have s we have v we have x <laughs> we have n we have d we have k we have e we have c there's ked z ked sex there's oh my god there's an airport here um some kind of airport or travel um we have dns do not disturb okay <laughs> some raunchy stuff's coming up we're gonna put this to the side <laughs> but if that clicked something with you or affirmed something for you then cool but this is where the meat and potatoes come in let's see what their thoughts are when it comes to you romantically Right? What are their romantic thoughts about you here? <clears throat> we are using my I Love You Butt deck, like I showed you in the beginning of the video. Um, this is a deck that you cannot find anywhere else because it has not been released to the public yet. If you think you would like, you know, a copy of this deck it's really friendly to use it's got words like it literally tells you what the message is <laughs> um the intuitive ability and psychic ability needed to read this is uh very low because again there's words it's words <laughs> you can just read it um i love this deck and i'm so happy that i'm able to share it with you finally it's my first deck so this is great um, let's get to your messages here. I want your baggage to be my baggage. Your patience is wasted on me. I feel anxious and nervous. I have shed tears over this. And I don't care. I can't get over it. Having trouble getting over it. I love spending time with you. I'm not hiding anything serious. And here we have, you played an important part in my life. So, this person... Mm, when it comes to their thoughts of you romantically it feels like someone who is in between someone who teeters in and out of the connection in and out of feelings someone who on the one hand it almost feels like they want to just let you go because it's too hard it's too much they can't handle it it's for the best it's what they might it might be what's like the best option to 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 choose and then the other hand they're like well actually maybe this could be nice this could be where i lay my head this could feel really good this could be something that works out for me i do like this this does feel good maybe this could work and then they teeter right back to no i don't know i think da -da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. so this person when it comes to them thinking about you romantically it's um <laughs> it's seesaws 
they're not hiding anything serious. So I, I, it, it, it seems like they, they, um, it could just be doubts, their feelings. Um, they want you to share. They like spending time with you. Maybe they even like hearing your voice or feeling your presence or seeing you sigh and be human. I think that makes them feel better about their stuff. It makes them see that you're not, you know, an all-purpose, an all-perfect being. Something about that. I feel like it humanizes you or brings you down to, I would say, brings you down to their level, but not in a vindictive way. At least that's not what I'm feeling. It's just kind of like, oh... I'm not the only one that feels anxious. I'm not the only one that feels nervous about the future, or about this connection, or about life. You know, you're not 100% certain. Or, you know, you also go through X, Y, and Z. And, wow, I can see that um, we share, like, oh, like, they, they it's, like, it's like a recognition that sort of calms them down. Um, what they think about you is that your patience is wasted on them. So how I'm taking that is they feel like with this seesaw in as much as they do enjoy time with you and maybe like even like you. I think they do like you. This person does have feelings here. It's just they're going through certain things on their end that might relate to this relationship, might relate to their longevity, might relate to other stuff. But they feel like you being patient with them is a waste because it seems like they know or have an idea that what they're going through will take more time than might be expected to get over to finally like cross that hump. Um, but also I feel like this person has a tendency to maybe push you away if if that's something that resonates with you it just feels like they they might push you away or push people away um and that's because a, that's that's them trying to be like go find someone else or something else you might be better off elsewhere but then when they're in that seesaw phase of feeling good they hold tight it, it's very mm. It's interesting. Um, oh, I have shed tears over you and this. Um, that's a lot. Okay. They're having trouble getting over it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> this patience thing and this not hiding anything serious. There's something that they have in their heart that is still sitting with them. And it affects your relationship or at least in how they think about you romantically and how they can approach you romantically and what they can do romantically. And I feel like spending time with you is a nice distraction, but it's also a nice... Distraction isn't bad. You know, it's it's nice to see that, oh, I can have something else. This person, this is a real seesaw. This is a real seesaw. Um, so that's what I'm seeing here in terms of like what they think about you romantically. They want your baggage to be their baggage. They do feel anxious and nervous. They love spending time with you. They have shed tears over something. Over you, over whatever. They, they feel like your patience is wasted on them. And they can't get over something. Right? They're having trouble completely crossing over into finding peace in a certain situation. So that's what they're thinking about you. And that's what's affecting uh, romance between you two. Once again, if you think this is a deck that you might want to have, just let me know in the comments so that I can consider putting this up for sale. Um, it's got way over like 250 messages uh, because it's awesome. I freaking love it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonated with you. There is a personalized reading um, of what they want to say to you, what they wish they could say to you, what they would likely say to you, and just a whole bunch of other like, what, what are the words, right? that I have on the, the website, uh, if you want to book a reading, uh, come through. We can, we can hook that up for you. So I wish you everything. Uh, keep your light on and good luck. Bye-bye. Hey there, number eight. Hey there, number eight. So what do they want to say to you? Or what do they think? Excuse me. 
what do they think about you romantically? What are their thoughts when it comes to you romantically? We're going to just do some letters here. Um, get that out of the way. You're getting way more letters than anybody else did. You have M, you have N, you have W, you have another M, you have U, you have K, you have another K, you have X, you have a Q. So perhaps you and this person have different cultures, different races. Um, perhaps there's some messiness, some mud here. Um, if you two have ever taken a walk together, this could be showing up as well. Um, there's some type of wind here. Um, uh, a little bit of money is coming up here, but it's like very low level. But otherwise, yeah, Q, K, K, X, M, M, N, U, W. If any of these resonated, cool. If not, it's don't even worry about it. It's just some little extras that I wanted to see how that could work. The P.S. de Resistance is in this deck. We are using the I Love You But deck, which is my deck. You cannot find this deck anywhere else. What are their thoughts <sighs> romantically about the person watching this video, please, right now? The person watching this right now, what are their thoughts? You can't find this deck anywhere as it's not up for sale yet. Let me know if you like it. Um, in the comments, let me know what you think about it. Let me know how the message resonated. Money! Oh, wait, no. I thought I said making money moves. <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I like this deck because... Sorry, my tripod is, like, moving. Because you, it's easy to read. You literally just read the message. So, it's... Wow. It's, it's great for people who have... Also, like a low psychic ability or a, like um a low intuition like you just read it it's very friendly to anyone um if you have high psychic intuition and intuition it's amazing because you can dig even deeper into the messages so um i do love this deck <laughs> wow all right we're gonna sh stop shuffling there um <clears throat> Let's be together. Please call me. Can you be quiet? Yes, there is some funny business. Incompatibility. Making moves. I can't get over it. I'm having trouble getting over it. Okay. You are on this person's mind. Um try as they might to forget you uh they think about you a lot if this is someone who like things are good things are jolly things are great <laughs> it's really annoying how they cannot get you off their mind um <laughs> like they can't get work done um for some of you they're crazy about you okay it's difficult um but for some from others of you there's some mix in this how you two are incompatible perhaps that was that different cultures different races something in there they see that the two of you have some differences and that could be something that they try to shut out or their feelings for you how they the, the nice thoughts they have of you are thoughts that they want to shut away and focus on the incompatibilities or the thoughts that they have of you that are nice and sweet and, and, and nice are the ones that they want to focus on and they want to shut away the incompatibilities, the thoughts of this won't work, this isn't good. Um, this person says, let's be together. They said, please call me. I can't get over, I'm having trouble getting over it. So there could be some differences between you two, between how you two handle things or How it relates to something that they've experienced before that they're having trouble getting over as it relates to your romantic feelings their their romantic feelings and like thoughts of you yes there is some funny business i think this person plays games <laughs> to avoid you or to pump themselves to to look differently than they feel or think Okay, 
Um, this is somebody who's maybe posting images of them looking happy and out, but they're posting it maybe, you know, for the purposes of making it look like that's how they're feeling when that's not how they're really feeling. Um, yeah, or they just play some games, you know, you call or they call and they'll say, okay, you know, I'm just calling in really quickly. Just say hi. Okay, bye. But it's like they wanted to call you. They wanted to, 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 to talk to you. Um, but the way they went about it, this whole rushed thing, this whole whatever is, eh, eh, is nah, it's not, there's something fishy about that. So yeah, they're a bit fishy. Um, it seems like this person, if they're an earth sign or there's somebody who's trying to make a name for themselves it feels like they've got other things they would rather focus on or that they you interrupt in their life so they might be making so they want to do some things they want to do things in their life we do have i adore you and we have i was serious but now things have changed and there are more important things in my life right now so i think this person is trying when it comes to you to think about um to not to think about you uh, they would like, they, they think that, you know, I hope you call me. And I feel like sometimes they might check their phone to see if you have called or if you've reached out, if you've messaged. Um, a part of them does think, let's be together when I come see you. So if you're like currently with this person, there's some things that they're thinking about when it comes to you two and they're trying to figure them out. Um, and they might be crazy about you, especially if that kind of resonates. Like, they're trying to calibrate their feelings for you with the rest of their life, <laughs> okay? If you're not together with this person or you guys are in a situationship or things aren't where they could be, this person is trying to focus more on their life, but they're really having trouble getting over whatever is missing between you two um this thing between you two um they this can you be quiet i really feel like this is their thoughts to themselves about their brain or their heart um that craving for you uh because this is jarring bro can you be bro this is jarring now if you know that you're a talker you know all right but with this please call me I will say, for some of you, perhaps you text more than they would like. And they would prefer a call than eh, 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 over and over on their phone. So this is something that they might think. <laughs> like, I'm so, I'm so tired of texts. Just, like, call me. Um, like, don't text me. Call me. That's just something more manageable. Um... So perhaps there's, you know, for, for, for somebody that, res that resonates for perhaps there's some incompatibility in your communication styles. Okay, so this is what they're thinking. Um, we're not going too deep today. This is just a real qu a quickie. If you would like this deck or think this is something that you might like, let me know in the comments so that I can start thinking about preparing this for like the masses and pre-orders and stuff. Excuse me. And um, if this is... Uh, if you would like to know more about someone in particular, what they think of you, what they would want to say to you, um, and where they're at with you, there is a reading specifically on the website that talk that has words, channeled messages. Um, the website is in the description box below, or you can just go to lucelamir.live and book that reading with me um, through my email. So I wish you everything, my friend. Keep you there and good luck, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey there, number six. How are you? So welcome to what their thoughts are of you um, romantically. We're going to just do some letters really quickly just to get this out of the way and see if anything triggers for you. Um, the other piles also have letters in them. So if that is something that, you know, you click with, cool. If it's not, don't even worry about it. Let's just focus on like the reading reading. But we have N R C R H E B Q X B B. 
So perhaps this person is in business or business is something that is um, uh, relevant in your connection. Perhaps there's some kind of bondage issues here or you've done some bondage-esque type stuff with this person or you've talked about it. Um, or you're thinking about, you know, being manhandled by this person or just handled by this person. There could be some stuff here about like immigration, nationalities, um, appropriate paperwork. Oh my God, there's something else I'm getting here, but I can't like grasp it. Uh, but there's something very minuscule here about like acting um someone who's maybe kind of a bitch someone who's kind of mean um but they like it it's a little bit of dominatrix vibe a little domination vibe here but anyway it doesn't have to be that that doesn't even have to resonate with you my friend so let's get into your actual reading we are using the i love you butt deck you can't find this deck anywhere as it is my deck with over 250 messages unique messages um, of what someone might say to you and it's pretty legit so when it comes to this person's spirit may you please have clear and direct uh message on what they think about them romantically what they think about them romantically Why can't you just love me? Honorable mention. We're gonna stick with you are too controlling. You let me know how these resonate for you. Wow, I think you've gotten the most messages out of everybody else. <laughs> they just kept coming out. Okay, my friend. I wanna make sure you see these though. Oh, we have, I have so much baggage. I don't know who would take me because I wouldn't take myself. That's a heavy one. I want you to contact me. Incompatibility. I would do anything for you. I daydream about you and us. Making moves. I want to explore, learn you. I look but don't touch. You are too controlling. <laughs> The red messages blow me sometimes. Um, okay. So, this person thinks you might be a little controlling um, here and there. Okay. Um... This, isn't that funny? Wasn't this the dominatrix kind of dominating um, BDSM? And it doesn't have to be that extreme. It could just be someone who's a bit bitchy, someone who's dominant and controlling. But there's something about that that the other person likes or that the dominant person likes, that they like that they can do that. Or maybe, you know, someone in this likes this. <laughs> okay. And I'm so glad that I remembered that. And I'm so glad that this came up in a way. Because there's something about that here. Um, they think that, but they would also do anything for you. So if that's a negative or a positive, I don't know what that is. Um, I look but don't touch. I want to explore, learn you. I daydream about you and us. This person, you too might have very different maybe communication styles or relationship styles. And that brings about an incompatibility, perhaps in personality. Uh, perhaps again, there's nationality, how... Um, how one person in one culture speaks so how one person in one culture is some maybe like gender roles or something like that um, uh, with this I want you to contact me this could also be in the form of again of communication how someone maybe prefers a certain kind of way for things to be done um, when it comes to what they think of you romantically there's definitely 
uh, romantic vibes here. Um, and I feel like they don't mind. I don't want to say this. <laughs> I, I don't know. The, the, there's a slight this person might want to be a little bit controlled by you, but also doesn't. There's some sort of satisfaction there. I'm going to leave that alone. Um, but there's an I don't mind sharing here at the top of the deck. And wow, you know, I have so much baggage. I don't know who would take me because I wouldn't take myself. I think this person has a mental kerfuffle when it comes to romantic relationships or how they think of themselves in their life. And maybe look, their kinks. It doesn't even have to be a kink as in a traditional kink. Maybe just how they want certain things makes them go, I don't even know how to explain this to someone. How can I get what I want? I digress. It may not be, again, an actual kink. It's just, it's it, got, it has the energy of a kink. It has the energy of, I like certain things a certain way. I like I like my cereal cold, but using hot milk put in the freezer and then served to me with the spoon on the like the particular stuff i don't know how to explain that to you but this feels like they think that they're com complicated um and they wouldn't take that or maybe they have you know a disability or they're differently abled and they feel like there could be some incompatibility whatever let me not go too deep on this but When it comes to romantically for you, are there feelings? Yes, I'm seeing feelings here. Um, if you are with this person, they look at others. Sure, of course they do. They have eyes, but they don't touch. If you're not with this person, they might look at people, but they're still, you know, respectful of whatever, <laughs> I don't know, you two had. Um, if this is somebody who you are not even with, like you're like, loose, I work with this person, or this is like my garbage man, or this is, you know, the waitress at the, the spot, they look at you, but they may not make a move towards you. Um, and they would want you to be the initiator, like they're thinking that they would much prefer for you to be the initiator. Mm. <laughs> Um, there is affection here. Let me just see. What are their feelings? I haven't done this for the other piles, number six. So this is our little secret. But, like, what are their feelings for my person watching this right now? Because I, I'm getting, I'm seeing the pink, right? And I'm seeing the stuff. But I'm wondering what the romantic feelings might be because while there are wow that's crazy while there are feelings i'm trying to get the depth of feelings that they have here this one was i need more from you i have doubts yeah there are some doubts i don't want to lose control and you are too controlling control is a, is a factor in this dynamic or at least to this person they would do anything for you. And that's that dichotomy of like wanting to be controlled, but also not. But then wanting to be, but then also wanting to be respected. Wanting to be, then also not. Like that, maybe that particularness could come from that. But they don't want to lose control. So I feel like this person may have been through some scenarios in their life where they gave too much to dynamics or to people. And they're trying to rein it in. But they know that you're kind of a dangerous person to them because they would do anything for you. They they want you. <laughs> there is there is that. They want to they want you. Um, or at least the you they have in their head, right? They want you. But they don't want to lose themselves again to you. Whether that again is with you. Or just within themselves from their dynamics in life. They don't want to lose themselves again. Um, so they do respect you for what it's worth. And being with you feels like peace. So this is where I'm going to stop. But if you would like more and to go deeper into this 
um, vibe for yourself and find out what your true vibe is for your true person in your situ situation and scenario. Um, I do have a reading on the website, uh, loosethemirror.live. You can check out all the readings that I offer. They're juicy and I think they're quite worth it. And, um, see if a messages deck, a messages reading fits for you or if some of the other readings might be a better fit for you or, you know, go crazy. Um, if you're in the U.S., a hey, taxes, right? <laughs> Um, if you're interested in this deck or you think you might like this deck because it's pretty easy to read, it's very beginner friendly and advanced friendly. Um, let me know in the comments so I can start making preparations for making this deck something that can be like sold more than just for myself. Um, I love this. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. I hope this resonated in the way that it, it may have needed to for you. Um, and keep, keep it locked. See you next time for some more videos. Bye-bye.